Share the magnitude of this. 67,000 migrants have come to New York City since last year. So far, the city spending a billion dollars, more than double that is expected just by next June. So today, the city taking its first step towards making sure that every single migrant is received in one central place. An intake center is going to be opened in the Roosevelt Hotel. This has been shuttered for three years, but now it's going to become a one-stop location for migrants coming in to get access to financial housing, health care, and school placement help. What we know so far is that these asylum seekers who have already come here will all be able to get those resources at the intake center, and then 175 rooms will become homes for families with children. Eventually, swelling to 850 rooms in this hotel. All new asylum seekers arriving in New York City will come through this one center. And even as the Adams administration continues to work on these logistics, we know that there is a lot more that is being done for looking at the future landscape. One New York Republican saying that there is work being done legislatively to assist in getting asylum seekers to work while also rejecting more of those claims at the border. The mayor, too, has been pleading with the Biden administration to speed up work authorizations to allow asylum seekers to have income and move out of city shelters. A week and a half ago, we had 4,200 in one week. In one day, we had 900. It was an unsustainable mistake that he made from the very beginning by even uh, sending that message because now you've encouraged more people to come to New York City because they will be getting free housing. You have to stop the flow in, in order to address this problem. So I think that if the Senate works with us, we can come to a solution. The mayor's office saying right now there are 150 sites across the city that are housing migrants. And while they have for the moment nixed using school gyms as a site for housing, they say in the future, if we see a heavy influx in any coming weeks, they may have to revisit that and put those families into those school gyms. We do know, though, that they are expecting to spend some $2.4 by next June as this crisis continues.